All right, I'm about to show you how to actually use your phone on your Windows computer. It can be any Windows computer, your laptop, desktop computer, if you, if you still got one of those. But three things we need to do this. We need the computer, of course. We need a Microsoft account. So since we are doing this on a Windows computer, we need that Microsoft account. But it's a free account. If you don't have one, it's simple as a setup. And besides that, you need the phone companion app on your phone. In the Google Play Store, I was able to type in Phone Companion, and I found it okay. On, your, on iPhones, you may need to go to a website to install it. But to do this, y'all, it's simple. So after you have the Phone Companion app, the very first step, on your computer, go to the settings. From the settings, select this phone option. But if you're having trouble getting to this phone option, don't worry. Just use the search option here, or just hit the Windows key, and you should have a search option somewhere. But search for phone, and then you'll see your phone app here. You can open up the application that way as well. But I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, just so we don't lose anybody. But it takes you to the same place, y'all, don't worry. So we're gonna go to the settings. From the settings, select phone. And then from here, select add a phone. And you'll see what we just saw a moment ago. From here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, self just select Android. If you've got an Android phone, iPhone, if you've got an iPhone, and select continue. Now, it's telling us that we need to go to this website to install the phone companion app. I didn't have a problem just getting the, the Your Phone Companion app from the Google Play Store directly on my phone. I think they just put this here just in case you having a problem with the with the Play Store. But if you have to, just go ahead and go to this website and install the app. But once you have the app installed, and only after you have the app installed, select yes, I finished installing the app, your uh, phone companion, then select open with the code here. Now we're gonna take our phones, scan that code. Don't be trying to scan my code, y'all. <laughs> Oh, let me get up the app here. Once you do all that, once you scan your code, it'll link your phone directly to your computer, and then it'll start loading up everything. Now, to use the phone call option, you do have to turn on the Bluetooth option. This is the only problem I had with this. Um, I tried it myself. I'm not sure if it's because I had like a different Bluetooth device connected to my phone at the same time. But when I tried this, it, the person, I couldn't get the person to hear me on the other end. I wouldn't recommend it for phone calls, but when it comes to stuff like text messages, it works great for text messages. I recommend this mostly for Android users because if you're an Apple user, well, if you're an Apple user and you have a Mac, uh, Apple computer, and iPhone, you have an option to link those two. And every time you get a phone call, FaceTime, text message, it's all on your computer as well. So what this app does, for Android users, it does the same thing. It links our phone and our laptop together. So as soon as I open my laptop, unless I disconnect my phone from this, I see all my text messages. So if somebody tests me right now, I can type up a reply right here. So I don't have to open my phone unless I want to. I would show you the text messages, but I don't want y'all in my business like that. <laughs> but besides that, there's the phone share option here the phone uh, screen option. Once you give your laptop permission to access your phone, it's pretty simple. It's, I love this right here. So this is all I have for you for this video. But if you have any questions about this, what we just went over, please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help. But in the meantime, much love to each and every one of you guys. I'm your downloading pirate and I'm out.